In this video, we look at another example using Hess's law. The standard enthalpy changes of three combustion reactions are given below in kilojoules. Using these three equations, we'll calculate the change in enthalpy for the following reaction. So in the first equation, we have the combustion of two moles of ethane to produce carbon dioxide and water. The enthalpy change for this reaction is negative 3120 kilojoules. In the second reaction, we have the combustion of two moles of hydrogen to produce two moles of water. The enthalpy change for this reaction is negative 572 kilojoules. In the last equation, we have the combustion of one mole of ethene to produce carbon dioxide and water. The enthalpy change for this reaction is negative 1411 kilojoules. Next, we'll use the above three reactions to calculate the enthalpy change for the formation of one mole of ethene and one mole of hydrogen from one mole of ethane. We'll start by looking at the first equation. In this reaction, we have the enthalpy change for two moles of ethane. In our final equation, we only have one mole of ethane. So we need to divide all the coefficients in the top equation by two. This gives us one mole of ethane, three and a half moles of oxygen, two moles of carbon dioxide, and three moles of water. Because we've halved all the coefficients in the reaction, we also need to halve the enthalpy change. In our next reaction, we have the enthalpy change for the combustion of two moles of hydrogen. In this equation, the hydrogen is in the reactants. However, in our final equation, the hydrogen is in the products. We also have two moles of hydrogen in this equation and one mole of hydrogen in the final equation. So we need to reverse the equation and halve the coefficients, which gives us one mole of water, one mole of hydrogen and half a mole of oxygen. Because we reversed the reaction and halved the coefficients, we need to do the same to the enthalpy change. So we change the sign from negative to positive and we halve its value. In our last equation, we have one mole of ethene in the reactants, but in our final equation, we have one mole of ethene in the products. So we need to reverse the equation. So we have two moles of carbon dioxide reacts with two moles of water to form one mole of ethene and three moles of oxygen. Because we reverse the reaction, we also reverse the sign of the enthalpy change from negative to positive. Our next step is to form the final equation by cancelling out the same things on opposite sides of the arrows. So the three moles of water in the first equation cancel out with the three moles of water in the second and third equations. The three and a half moles of oxygen in the first equation cancel out with this half mole of oxygen in the second equation and these three moles of oxygen in the third equation. And finally, the two moles of carbon dioxide in the first equation cancel out the two moles of carbon dioxide in the third equation. We are now left with one mole of ethane, one mole of hydrogen, and one mole of ethene, which gives us our final equation. The final step is to add together the enthalpy changes for these three reactions, which gives us an enthalpy change for the final reaction of positive 137 kilojoules.